good morning children how are you all hope you all are fine at home okay students very good shall we come back to our lesson in this final accounts there are 15 adjustments we have completed around of 8 7 isn't it so eighth one is interest on loan so this uh, for the adjustments the first one main thing is adjusting entry okay but among this seven we have two uh, two two more entries that means the adjusting entry along with the transfer entry okay for interest on capital and interest on drawings okay now for the interest on loan we do not have any transfer entry so just to remember for two uh, adjustments we have the transfer entry also okay adjusting entry plus transfer entry then this now what is interest on loan the business uh, organization may, might have got some loan either from the banks or from the financial institutions from the financial institution for that uh, loan they have to pay interest annually okay that percentage of interest will be given in the problem we should calculate sometimes the interest paid will be given in the trial balance so if it is 8 percentage or 7 percentage we need to calculate that on 7 percentage on 1 lakh it will be 7000 isn't it 7 percentage so how much is paid in the trial balance the paid amount will be given okay 5000 is paid so the remaining 2000 is not paid okay this is outstanding that we know so this is same as the outstanding expense so the same uh, expense we have to consider this also an expense and we have to write the adjusting entry so what is the adjusting entry for outstanding expense outstanding ex that expense account debtor here the expense name is interest on loan so interest on loan account debtor to outstanding interest on loan okay outstanding interest on loan adjusted okay outstanding interest on loan adjusted that amount to how much 2000 we have to write then only this entry we have seen now the presentation in the final accounts we should see presentation then interest on loan will be written in the profit and loss account is it it to interest on loan here uh, we have calculated that uh, paid in the interest on loan paid given in the trial balance is 5000 so we have to write add outstanding interest on loan 2000 so now you got to write here 7000 okay now again in the balance sheet yeah, in the balance sheet we have to show that a loan along with the loan okay loan amount is how much 1 lakh in the inner column we have to write then add outstanding interest on loan okay interest on loan outstanding we have to add how much 2000 now how much 1 lakh 2000 we have to write okay this is the presentation okay okay now it is over the interest on loan now the same way sometimes the business organization may invest some amount outside the organization for that investment we will receive the interest that is called interest on investment it is an income actually interest on loan is an expense okay 
this interest interest on investment is an income here also we need to calculate okay in invest if we invest some amount the percentage will be given so we need to calculate if the investment is uh, one lakh the percentage of uh, investment is five percentage okay five percentage how much is the investment that we are supposed to receive five thousand isn't it but we have received in the trial balance on the credit side they will give uh, interest on investment received okay four thousand so how much is accrued that means in interest accrued but not yet received interest accrued uh, five thousand we have not yet received how much one thousand so this is interest accrued but not received okay but not received 1000 how we need to treat this one for this one you have to treat this one in the same way income accrued but not received only one adjusting entry will come okay what is the adjusting entry interest accrued but not received here that the interest on investment must be credited okay because that is an income so interest accrued but not received that we need to debit interest accrued simply if you write also enough interest accrued account data to interest on investment received Okay, then interest accrued adjusted. Okay, how much amount? Thousand. Then the presentation we will learn. Okay, where it will appear? In the profit and loss account, it is an income. So, income side. Okay, by interest on investment received how much given in the trial balance how much four thousand then add interest accrued but not received thousand so totally five thousand we have to show then in the balance sheet in the asset side we will write investment isn't it Investment 1 lakh. Now add interest accrued 1000. One lakh thousand. <laughs> Now we have completed around nine adjustments. So we will do one problem. Okay, one problem. Okay, one problem. The problem. Only with the eight adju adjustments we can complete. From the trial balance of Sumadhi and the adjustments, prepare the trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2016 and your balance sheet as on that day. So fully we have to prepare. Opening stock, April 1, 2015. So this is opening stock. Purchases, sales, 10% loan, carriage on purchases, rent from tenant, interest on loan, machinery. Then adjustments given. Six months interest on loan is outstanding. 
Two months rent is due for tenant, the monthly rent being 25. Salary for the month of March 75 is unpaid. Stock in hand, closing stock. Okay, valued at 10,030. Uh, so, first we will start the trading account. Trading and profit and loss account. So, please take uh, in your book the problem number 11. Okay, then it is not the same page. Your page number is different. You please turn to uh, that exercise number 11. First, in the books of Sumati, we will write. First number, isn't it? 11. Trading and profit and loss account. For the year ending, thirty first March two thousand sixteen. Okay. So, first to opening stock. Should not write to stock on April 1. Should not write. You have to write in this word only. Opening stock 900. No adjustment. Then to purchases. Purchases 2000. No purchase returns. So write the amount out of call. Then, then so adjustments you have to check. Okay. In the trading account, we do not have any item. Okay. So, purchases. Then, direct expenses. Carriage on purchases. So, carriage on purchases. 200. Then, nothing. Isn't it? This by closing stock. Sorry. By sales. By sales, 4,000. No? Sales returns. So, we can write out our card. By closing stock. Thousand and thirty. Thousand and thirty. Okay. So, no other adjustment. We will... Close the trading account. 5,030. 9, 11. 11 plus 9, 20, 20. 2 plus 2, 4. 1, 932. 2 cross profit. Carried out no, by cross profit brought down 1930. Okay, now, now we will see the items. Okay, rent from tenant that is the first expense, isn't it? To rent from tenant. Here, some adjustment is there, isn't it? So, write this one in the, sorry, rent from tenant is income, okay. Credit side only it is given. Two fifty. Now, we will see the adjustment, what is given. 
two months rent is due from tenant. Monthly rent is 25. So how much rent we need to receive? 50. Okay. So add rent due. Outstanding rent. Okay. We have to add 25. Sorry, 50. Okay, to now 300. Then interest on loan. Interest on loan. We have to check. See 10 percentage loan, the fourth item. 10 percentage loan given 2000. So we need to calculate 10 percentage on uh, 2200. Isn't it? In that 200, interest on loan we have, we have paid 100. Okay. So outstanding interest on loan. Add outstanding. Uh, outstanding interest on loan. We need to pay 100. So totally 200 only we have. That, that this year's interest on loan. Then we will see. Here you see 6 months interest on loan is outstanding. So there if we calculate also we will get, you see 6 months only they have paid half, the remaining half we need to pay. Okay, then B adjustments we have completed. Then salary for the month of March 2016 is unpaid. But here we have not uh, given any salary. Isn't it? So we will write salary for the month of March 75 is unpaid. So outstanding salary we will write to outstanding salary 75. Now we will close it. Zero, three, two, two, Plus five zero ten balance one eight eight plus five thirteen balance one three three plus nine twelve balance one one nineteen fifty five two net profit okay then we will do the balance sheet here many items are missing. Okay, whether we will get the answer, I get the doubt on it. Okay, balance sheet as on thirty first March two thousand and sixteen. Okay, assets where it is. From the first item we will come. Opening stock purchase sales 10 percentage loan. So here we will write loan 4000. Isn't it? Then add adjustment. One interest on loan outstanding. Outstanding 6 months interest. Isn't it? That one 100. Then 
carriage and purchase, rent from tenant, interest and loan, then machinery, here machinery, 400, then adjustment, 6 months interest and loan adjusted, 2 months rent is due from tenant, it is an asset, isn't it, interest due. Interest due, 2 months rent is due, so 50. Then salary for the month of March, 75 is unpaid. So it is liability, okay, salary outstanding, 75. Then closing stock, next one. thousand and thirty now net profit here capital is not given okay actually that uh, trial balance itself you see the prepare the from the trial balance of Sumadhi they have given if we add the trial balance we do not get the same amount so here this will not get tally okay so we will see Net profit, how much we have got? 1954. Five plus five, ten. Eight plus five, thirteen. Balance one, ten plus one, eleven. Balance one, five. Plus one, six. don't get isn't it so how much we will get three three plus eight four one thousand four eight now we have to find out the difference in the trial balance trial balance debit side three thousand six hundred credit side uh, six thousand two fifty we will subtract how much debit side less isn't it 3600 if you deduct we will get the amount 2650 okay so 2650 if we add that is suspense account check 5 plus 8 13 balance 1 7 plus 4 11 balance 1 3 plus 1 4 again 2000 difference is coming okay you do and check whether you get the balance here Okay, we have some problem in this pro uh, in this problem. Okay. So try to complete this one. If you get the answer, you tell me. Okay, students. Otherwise, in the next problem, we will see. Because salary is not given. Without salary, they have given the outstanding. So, some mistake in the problem itself, I think. Okay. Without salary, they never gave the adjustment. But here in our problem, they have not given the salary here. Okay. Or you have some other uh, adjustments, then you can tell me. Or any other extra items given, you can inform me. Okay, students. So, we will see the remaining in the next class. Okay. Thank you very much.